Most people in America expect that people of any age understand what is and isn't called theft. In America, we have the right to put our bag down without someone think they have the right to pick our bag up or put their hands in our bag. I realize if we were in a monstrous city, we might not have that level of safety because of the pickpockets and the thieves that like to hang around people's lives. But here's the deal. Sitting around waiting for opportunity is not something that we allow. Allowing people to prey on us is not something that a company should allow. Their employees have participated in a game. They write down what a man is buying and they literally interfere with his purchases. The liars of America help them to do this. The police officers of a community allow them to do this and they don't realize that they're being set up by the federal government to see who is a liar and who can handle their job. The violence in America is not always the problem. The constant harassment, the constant insult, and the constant thieving is a problem in America. I can tell you for as a man who's been grieving the loss of several people in his life, the most significant partners in his life, what I see is incredible immaturity. What I see are little boys in big boy clothing. What I see are little girls in immature impropriety of their behavior and openly they do this regularly i was getting put water upon my body somehow by someone and someone was peeing on my clothing without my consent and who that would give them consent but then the other day the woman who's been a part of that harangment decided to give me a handful of water bottles i carried them overnight for her and i put them down where she likes to sit her butt down to do her pain handling stuff as a politeness. I didn't appreciate being solicited for that concept of did I want the water because that's telling me she's been participating in putting water on me. But openly will she admit that. You see, a little girl is always a little girl. A man will say, leave me alone as a man because there's nothing about you, nothing I want, nothing I need, and nothing I'm going to participate in for many reasons. First and foremost, you're partnered with a black man and you're married. So that on that level, I have nothing to do with you. Not because of his color, because you've chosen him. And I have no interest in you. So that's my unlist to goodness reason. But you still keep prating by me as if I'm supposed to be interested in you. And I'm not interested in you. And that's the mentality of a 13-year-old little girl in a woman's body. That she hasn't matured enough to recognize personal boundaries. Secondly, I carry leather goods for me because I have a project that I'm planning to do. What I find this morning is a lot of my leather goods are gone. Now, is it that couple that panhandles on the block? Is it the black peddler who pretends he's still doing work for a basketball team, even though he works at one of the sandwich shops that is allowed to stand outside the Dollar Tree and peddle all day long? Because I've seen him out at late at night when I have been up. But what happened to my black hat? Where's my black baseball hat? I set it down on my chair when I was sorting things and now it's gone. Did he slip himself around while I was walking down to throw something away and pick it up? Where'd it go? I'd like to know that. But this morning I'm missing some leather goods. I literally stripped a sofa on campus that was being thrown away. I thought we don't need this leather in the uh, trash of, uh, compactors or our landfills today. And I have this good quality leather that I'm planning to make pouches out of and other things, a vest and other things that are wise for my life. And what I'm finding is that it's not exactly perfect for what I'm after, but it'll do the job just in time. Or maybe I'll eventually gift it to someone that the Lord gives it to me to give to, but here's the deal. You don't have the right to choose what I'm going to gift to you. In other words, you don't have the right to tell yourself and sell yourself that I'm being gifted this material. No, you're not. You're stealing from the house of God.